Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, the update day for Medieval Engineers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week in terms of the update. Well, I have to say it's quite exciting. We can now boss and control our peasant workers around with quite relative ease, all down to a new command system. So let's actually bring that up press the G menu and we'll talk through some of the commands. So we're going to head to bots and as you can see here we have a number of commands that can be used in survival mode as well as some different sorts of peasants. So they've renamed him to a servant. Now a servant will follow you around. We'll turn this guy into a servant so I can quickly show you how this works. So by pressing number four and clicking on him he now becomes a servant and a servant will loyally follow you around wherever you go through whatever treacherous terrain and it's perfect for leading them maybe to a work site if you want them to work in this area so we're going to turn him back into a porter by pressing number two and turning him into that will make him stand still unless there's a stockpile around now the porter themselves the idea of this is someone who will collect an item from an area and return it back to the stockpile and if you don't know what stockpile are these things i'm talking about we'll actually have a look at them now before i move on to these two other options so we're going to go to the toolbar number two and we'll add them so we have a mining area we have a stockpile area and we have a wood cutting area now these are exactly what they say on the tin you simply stick down a marker so we stuck down a mining area near these rocks we need to stick down a stockpile area so let's put the stockpile area just at the entrance to our little hamlet here and that means we can collect the resources ourselves and store them away where we want and let's put a wood cutting area in this area as well so this is just near these trees safely away from the hamlet perfect so these items will actually allow us to mine and use our peasants or um, servants as you may wish to call them if you're not a fan of the peasant to actually move around objects and do tasks for us that are a little bit easier when you're actually on the survival so let's move back a bit and let's command our first miner into action so we're going to press number six and we're going to tell him to start mining. I'm going to put him over here just to show you how this works. So as I put him over here, he's going to actually seek out the closest mining area. And you can see we've got a car in the way there. So we're just going to have to maybe just push that out of the way for him. And he's going to head towards the closest sort of mine area. You can see the pathfinding is a little bit debatable at the moment as he's shouting general terms. Maybe he needs a little bit of motivation to move around this thing. Why did I have to put him in such a complicated navigation area? So now that the peasant has found his way to the mining area, you can see he's locating an area to actually start chipping away at the rock there. And we see we've got Kendall here chipping away at the boulder. And he's called upon his friend Theodore over here to come and collect this boulder. So Theodore is now navigating the forest through this area to collect this stone and return it back to the stockpile that we've marked out. So this is really cool. So we can see... Theodore is coming over. He's going to collect up a rock, hopefully. Yes, he's collected it up. Come on, Theodore. Get it back to the stockpile. So these guys could be working away while I'm building or constructing. Theodore, you've dropped it. Pick it back up and take it over to the stockpile. There we go. So he's continuing his task. Kendall is mining away perfectly. Let's ch let's change some rolls around. Let's send um, Kendall over here to do some wood cutting for us. So we're going to select number three. Click on him. And he's now become a woodcutter. So he's heading over to the woodcutting area. Theodore is cleaning up the mess that Kendall's actually left up. Naming these people, are these medieval names? Kendall, is that a medieval? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't, I don't think they had names like Trevor and Henry back in the day. So he's actually starting work on chopping the tree. And he's, he's, he's obviously quite... Oh! <laughs> well, well, Kendall tried his best to avoid cutting down that tree. So I think we're going to need a little bit of a replacement woodcutter in. Let's see who we get. We've got Simon. Will Simon be a more effective woodcutter? Let us see. So he's chopping up the tree that Kendall has fallen. So, so the, most of the time they actually stand back out the way of where the tree falls. I'll, I'll show you again. Simon's actually lining up and trying to work out which tree he should cut down next. And then once he does, he'll chop up a second area here. I think he's trying to get this second part of the tree while Theodore's working at that. There we go. The, the navigation is a little bit debatable at the moment, but still, it's very early experimental stage, and it's amazing to see the AI actually doing this. I think he's trying to chop up that second part of the tree. Maybe he needs a little bit of assistance on it. Yeah, let, let's let's help this guy out. This is what it's all about, helping our AI bev brethren. And there we go. Chop that away. And now Simon should start working on the other tree. There we go. Now, will he be a bit more safe with this one? He seems to have stood in the right direction. Perfect. Is Theodore going to be called upon? Or is he collecting some more rocks? Perfectly. Oh, okay, maybe we need another porter. So let's get another porter in this area. 
Okay, so this porter should be collecting up the logs that Simon's cut in. So we've got Martin now. They're getting a little bit stuck. Obviously, it's early stages, but still, it's very cool. He's collected the log up. Come on, son. Come on, Martin. No, there's a tree in the way, Martin. Oh, does he, does he still think he's still got it? Because he dropped it on the floor. Simon's going to kill me by dropping a tree on my head. No shouting timber. That's what they need. They need some more verbal commands like timber or something, something a bit more native. I don't know. It's, it's still just really cool how they're chopping away, collecting up. And that is what this patch is all about, commanding and controlling these guys. Even though they're very primitive in AI and these guys are having actually a fight over this log at the moment. No, I'm having it. No, you're having it. All right, let's, let's flip a coin. Flip a coin, lads, or something. All right, thank you. Thank you, Martin, for sorting that out. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Obviously, it's quite a cool little update. I can't wait to see what you guys do.